Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm coming out of my comfort zone. It's currently 2 a.m. and I'm going to watch horror clips that I've been warned not to watch. That's what the video is called. The link to the original video will be down in the description. If you're weird enough to watch it by yourself without, without me reacting because me reacting should be like oh there's, there's someone reacting watching it with me. You get it? Oh, I'm shook nevertheless. This hoodie should keep me warm. I don't want to feel no goosebumps. I might scream. I don't want to scream. Enough talking. Let's just let's just get into the video. They say you can find anything on the dark web. Though why you would want to find any of the things mentioned on this list is beyond me. Number ten. He's just got. He's just got that. He's just got that eerie voice. He's just got the voice and the music behind the voice. 10 things. I'm not sure I can make it through the 10 things, guys. I won't lie. This 11 minute video has been making rounds on the dark web for a while and has only recently come to the surface. In it, something human shaped, wrapped in garbage bags, is taped up and kept in various strange poses. In a chair. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep pausing the car. I've got my AirPod in listening as well, so it's just, it's close to me. Nah. I'm gonna have to do something to distract myself. At the bottom of steps and so on, every so often a man with a bag over his head comes in and fusses with the strange object. At one point, he even tries to give it food in the bathtub, despite there being no mouth hole. Towards the end of the video, he puts the object onto the kitchen counter and begins. Nah, I don't know, fam. I've got goosebumps. Fam. I don't know if you man can see that, bruv. Nah, nah, nah. Just to carve into it. This video was filmed in black and white and has many different artistic camera angles. The dark web is full of many videos like this, but I guess every once in a while you could be looking at someone who is really acting out their twisted fantasies on a real person. For all we know, this could be the aftermath of a Red Room video. Was that nice? Number 9. A YouTuber named Surviving Life finds a dark web sub forum dedicated to the most disturbing content imaginable. I can't even show you most of the thread titles, let alone what's in them. But I'll put it like this the people here are looking for stuff that would easily get your door kicked in by the cops. After going through a few pages, Surviving Life comes across one thread in particular that easily tops them all. I want. That's mad. It says I want to buy a human infant. We'll pay. We'll pay any price. Must be reasonable. This is mad. Why would anyone want to be part of the dark web? That's mad. Buy a human infant. I will pay any price. I don't know exactly how this person expects to buy an infant or how much a reasonable price is. Thankfully, Surviving Life does not click on the link to find out. I did notice it seems to have 14 replies though, which leaves me with a terrible sinking feeling inside. You might think all of these requests are fake, but apparently- Bro, I keep hearing things in my room, bro. Surviving Life has seen versions of this website before. Okay, and the name of this site is so infamous and the people on it, this isn't the first time they've put a site together like this. This is, this is a system where these sites go up, they go down, the content's moved. And, once and provides us with some more insight about its long history. He soon grows too disgusted with all of humanity and logs off for the day. I think that the website is probably 100% real, but I would like to get your opinion based on this video evidence shown here. Number 8. This grainy black and white video. Oh, you see, number 9 weren't so scary. But this one, I can just... Oh, my days, bro. Why did I do this at night? was supposedly taken back in 1999 when the internet was still in its early stages of development. A woman has apparently been chosen against their will for a Red Room show, which is where people make suggestions as to what should happen to her next. 
kind of like a more interactive version of the movie Saw. She is clearly in distress, though I'm not sure if this is real or just acting. I don't think I can watch that. The noise alone scared me. I don't think I can watch that. I don't want to put my hood up. I feel less aware. <laughs> This scene seems realistic enough to make me uncomfortable, but I'd like to get your opinion as to what is going on here. She could be a paid actress, and this could be from a movie for all I know. We may never discover the real answer, unless more of the video surfaces from the deep web. Number 7. Another supposed Red Room video Shows a person wearing a large hood over their face, looking down at the floor. I think the room is in pitch black and this was taken with night vision. After more than four minutes of uncomfortable silence, a man dressed in all black with gloves on wakes the person up and begins talking. Try to translate what is being said here if possible, so that we can better tell what is really going on. I wanna cry. I feel like crying will just make everything better right now. And Whatever is said appears to send the hooded man into a great amount of distress. I notice that a voice changer is used, which makes me think this video could be real. After all, whoever is involved would want to go to great lengths to keep their identity concealed. I'm not sure what happened next, but based on the overall tone of this video, I doubt this person made it out of the room in one piece. Number 6 You know what's mad? It's the fact that, like these people, they hide their identity so they could just be out on the road. Yeah, you could just walk into my man, bump into my man. He's made eye contact with you, and now he's thinking, raw. I'm trying to get you into one of them red rooms. A YouTuber named Amir returns to the dark web after getting many requests from his followers to do so. The first thing he finds is a strange collection of texts promoting superhuman abilities through special muscle exercises. Overall, Pro. Detailed instructions sound really complicated, futuristic, and weird. Then at the bottom, Amir comes across a strange date of publication that leaves him scratching his head in puzzlement. Based off of, I want to try this. The first move, okay, okay consists of continuously contracting very hard. The upper he grows tired of reading the mountain of text and comes across this creepy dark website next. It's nothing more than a still photo of a man with huge black bags under his eyes, staring you Why does he feel the need to bring that closer to me? Bro, I can see bro. Down with a knowing grin. I don't recognize the photograph from any place, but I would like to know if you have. I am not making this up. <laughs> this is literally the page. There is apparently a secret place on the page you can click to proceed, but Amir can't find it and moves on to the strangest dark web discovery yet. Kidney for sale. Shoes price negotiable. Buyer pays for all travel, accommodation, and surgery costs. There are pages upon pages of organ donors looking to sell their guts for some quick cash. Based on the outrageous demand for organ donors and the long waiting list to get one, I have little doubt that this message board is real. The listings are quick, to the point, and highly detailed. Number 5. A YouTuber named ITGuru360 is making a tutorial about how to access the dark web when he comes across a cryptic video that he has never seen. I don't want to see this video already. I don't want to see the video, and why would you want to know how to access the dark web? I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. 4. Long strings of binary code fly under the watchful gaze of a floating skull face. Some people say the skull somehow feels mesmerizing, and that it was created to lull you into an altered state of mind, perhaps even insanity. If anyone can translate this programming language into English, then please let me know. Oh, and as for this shape-shifting strange face that's in the same video, I'm not even sure that I want to know. 
Somehow I doubt its backstory is anything good. Number 4. Gabe Helmy and Darcy Young decide to push their luck on the dark web and see what they can uncover. It isn't long before they discover a secret website meant for selling everything, including some really creepy items too. Soon afterwards, they find a website that is supposedly made by Russian hackers who can get into just about anything. It looks like their service costs around $2,000 on average based on current Bitcoin prices. You can even bring down a website for 24 hours for $12,000, but that hardly seems worthwhile. Something about this website design looks very amateurish, so I'm not sure it is real. Number 3. Chloe Alliang is a British supermodel who claims to have been taken and put up for auction on the deep web. She arrives at a sketchy studio in Italy only to be jumped from behind. A hand comes from behind onto my neck. Eventually they tackle me to the floor and the syringe goes in and that's when it all goes black. So I'm saying fam, people are targeted fam. The trunk of a car zipped inside of a black bag take her to a secluded room and finally reveal her fate. He says, you've already been put up for sale. They put you up for sale? Yeah. Where? Uh, on the dark web. This is where the story gets kind of weird. So I'm actually here to tell it though. You get it? Because no one's buying you from the dark web to release you. You get it? She says that after six days, her captives did not want any money and felt bad, so they let her go. I guess this is possible. They didn't want any money and felt bad. Nah, something's not right there. May if that if if it's true, she's lucky, and amen, amen to that. But yo, why would you go through the lengths to kidnap someone? To and I didn't know criminals feel bad like. <laughs> You know what you're doing is wrong. If you knew you were going to feel bad, why would you still go ahead and do it? Because you clearly plan to do it. If you got her from behind, you got her slip in, everything. But when one of the men was eventually caught, he said that she told him to do it as a way for her to get famous. Some people also say she does not look sincere in her press statement. I think she is probably telling the truth, but I'm not really sure what to think at this point. Number 2, a YouTuber named Zer John pokes around. I keep looking back, safety reasons. On the dark web, soon he finds himself reading some extremely bizarre tutorials that leave him stunned. He's like tutorials on how to like eat people and cook them. It's like it's a regular thing for these people. Look at this. A whole article on how to, you know, do that. I don't think Sir John would ever do anything like this himself, but as- Bro, you can- There's a- This is a step-by-step -step guide how to break down the human body from a full figure into serv serviceable choice cut of meat. As in my field, there are a number of methods to practice, and you may wish to view this as suggestions rather than concrete rules. I watch his curious reaction to the materials. I can't wonder how many other people have been actually introduced to this in exactly the same manner. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Why is that on my screen? Shin, if you're curious about what I look like in real life, I'm then go to my old. Instagram I'm at old. Dylan is. Old. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the True, I agree with this though. If you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. Makes you happier. <laughs> makes you happier. And Kenneth Freeman began filming himself doing horrible things with his daughter Vicky sometime during the 90s. These terrible videos grew worse and worse for well over a year. As he became more elaborate and sadistic, he was sharing them online the entire time for many years. Vicky did not feel safe enough to report what was done to her for four years at the age 14. Her father fled all the way to China, but he was discovered and taken to trial one year later. He was sentenced to 50 years behind bars. Sadly, the Vicky series continues to be traded online to this day and has become infamous among dark web sickos everywhere. It's disgusting to think how people are still finding pleasure in her grief all these decades later. 
but as long as the dark web continues to exist, there is little that can be done. Most People go their entire lives without needing to call 911, but the next time something bad happens, don't be surprised when those three numbers are being dialed for you. Just give me a break, just stop. Why is he speaking like that? Well, these, the next three numbers could be for you. No, 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 I rebuke that. Rebuke, rebuke it all, man. No negative energy, man. I'm gonna have to. I have to watch some TikToks or something after this. It's nearly 3 a.m. And you know what 3 a.m. means? That's the devil hour that is. To be honest, I expected this to be more to be more scary than it actually was. I reacted to another horror clip that messed up the audio, blah 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 blah. So that's not coming out. But that was scary. I was in I was in fear. I recorded that midday. I screamed. But anyway guys, make sure if you if you if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It makes you a happier person, as this guy said. Show some love to the channel. Peace out.